Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. That's right, we're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes. These are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be. And today's patrons, we have Otter JX and Eric Palanco. All right, so we're gonna roll odds and evens to figure out the row, and we've got evens, so second row, and then one through five. So number five here for Otter JX, and then Eric will do the same thing, so even, so that'll be the second row, and number three. All right, and we will consume the rest in future videos. And the theme this month is Dominaria, as you might expect and hope. So the foils here, very much on theme. Leave a note in the comments with your guess for what you think they could be. Thank you for being a patron, Otter JX. Let's see what we got here for you. And we got a lot of boxes all over the place. Alright, so... We have Modern Horizons 2, Dominaria, Dominaria United, and two cards this month. Commander Legends, Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty, and War of the Spark. So let's do like a bookended Dominaria deal. And we'll start off here looking at the foil. So a very cool mythic. So we have Teferi, Master of Time from M21. Uh, three loyalty for four. You may activate loyalty abilities of Teferi, Master of Time on any player's turn. Anytime you could cast an instant. That's pretty crazy. Is plus one, draw a card, then discard a card. Minus three, target creature you don't control phases out. Minus ten, take two extra turns after this one. All right, awesome to see Teferi there. And then the other card this month, so we've got cards from Legends. Nothing high-end here, but I thought it would be a fun thing to chuck in some Legends cards. So we have Ivory Guardians, Summon Guardians, so this is a uh, six mana cost. Protection from red, all Guardians gain plus one, plus one if an opponent controls any red cards. All right, so there we go. We've got the first of the Legend card pulls. And let's get cracking here, Dominaria United. Any patrons get the rares, mythic foils, and anything over a bike, along with the art cards and anything from the list, such as this. So we have Sabo Tavok. That's an interesting one. Uh, what is that set symbol? Leave a note in the comments. So awesome list pull there. It's a rare, actually. We've got Iridian Maelstrom. So there is the art card, fantastic, followed by a Plains, Toxic Abomination, Haunted Maya, Urborg, Repossession, Coalition Warbrute, Frostfist Strider, Inscribed Tablet, Yusha Declares War, Strength of the Coalition, and Tori de Avenant, Fury Rider, and you know what, we'll check in the Legendaries as well. And Guardian of New Benalia, along with a foil line breaker Bailoth, and that is it. And the prices are all over the place right now, so if there's anything over a buck at the time of filming that I have missed, I'll chuck it in after editing. Okay, Commander Legends, we have Forceful Denial, Haunted Cloak, Crimson Fleet, Commodore, Aqueous Form. And Defiant Salvager, Portrait of Betrayal, Exquisite Huntmaster, Sky Diamond, a Slith Ascendant, Finhorn Elves, Fleshbag Marauder, Workshop Assistant, Prophetic Prism, Return to Dust for the Uncommons, Vow of Torment, Pride of the Perfect, and a very nice Spectator Seating is rare. Followed by Brinolin, the Moon Kraken, Fathus, Shadow Cat, Familiar Foil, Grafted War Gear, and a Golem. So how are people this weekend? Hope you're able to drop by your lo local game store and get in some pre-release events for Dominaria United. Alright, War of the Spark. We have Martyr for the Cause, Contentious Plan, Blind Blast, Battlefield Promotion, Charity Extractor, Primordial Worm, Tamio's Epiphany, Banehound. 
Trusted Pegasus Band together, and Uncommon Cyclops Electromancer Bond of Flourishing, Zhang Yangu Wildcrafter, so checking in the Planeswalkers, and Blast Zone is the rare, followed by Planes and Dragon Token, let's check in the Dragon as well, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, and okay, no pull tabs on these, interesting. I thought I was dealing with Japanese packs, but I guess not. So this one... No idea what I'm looking at, to be honest. That is Bamboo Grove Archer. Followed by Dismal Backwater, Selfless Samurai, Sunblade Samurai, Clawing Torment, Nazumi Blade Blesser, Rat Samurai, Kami of Terrible Secrets, Twisted Embrace, Naomi Pillar of Order, Chucking in a legendary today, Banishing Slash, The Long Reach of Night, and Scrap Welder, Goblin Artificer. Good to see the goblins and foil light of the way and a spirit. Okay, the OG Dominaria. So we actually opened a bundle the other day. If you missed that video, link in the corner. And we start off here with a Skirk Prospector, Creature Goblin, the Avenant Trapper, Coldwater Snapper, Rat Colony, yes! I sold a bunch of these on TCG Player the other day, that was awesome. So we'll chuck that one in, Corrosive Ooze, Power Stone Shard, Shivan Fire, Call the Cavalry, Llanowar Elves, Sparring Construct, Goblin Warchief and Thorn Elemental, the Flame of Keld, and a Mythic Demon Lord Belzenlock, which I think we actually got out of one of the other bundles we did, a Plains and Sapling. Okay, Modern Horizons 2. Let's see the monkey. Everybody's after the monkey, and this dude... He is very disturbing. He's actually a planeswalker. It is Grist the Hunger Tide, followed by a Forest Chrome Courier, Razor Tide Bridge, Stillfin Whale, Lens Flare, Blacksmith Skill, Prismatic Ending, that's over a buck still, Radiant Epicure, and Brayer's Apprentice for the rare, Vindicate, another rare. Abundant Harvest Sketch Variant, Foil Urban Dagger Tooth, and nothing from the list there. Okay, so we did reasonably well here. Uh, let's see, the highlight is probably the Rat Colony, of course. Leave it out in the comments if you agree or disagree with that assessment. Alright, onward. Eric Palanco, thank you for being a patron. Guesses in the comment section. What are we going to find in the foil slot here? Remember, Dominaria theme, so you might be able to hit the mark on this one. We have Modern Horizons 2, Dominaria, Dominaria United. We've got two more cards here. One foil, one from Legends. Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty, Streets of New Campana, and Commander Legends. So let's mix things up a little bit this time. And we'll take a look at your foil here, Eric. So a very nice borderless mythic. We've got Moldrotha, the Grave Tide, legendary creature, elemental avatar, 6646 six, mana during each of your turns. You may play a land and cast the permanent spell of each permanent type from your graveyard. Yargle hadn't bargained on her showing up. And if you're uh, familiar with Yargle, that's actually quite amusing. Okay, onward to the Legends card. <clears throat> so this one is Raging Bull, and looks like they had a bit of an issue with the printing back then. So we've got Summon Bull, it's a 2-2 two, two for 3. Sometimes the bulls win and sometimes the bears win, but the bulls have more fun. So says Anonymous. Okay, so do you remember that one from back in the day? Leave a note in the comments. All right, Dominaria, let's go, Eric. Good luck, hoping for the Mox Amber today. We have Arcane Flight, Gitu Chronicler, Banalish Honor Guard, Adventurous Impulse, Soul Salvage, Avon Sentry, Skittering Surveyor, Primordial Worm, Academy Drake, Demonic Vigor, 
and memorial to genius for the uncommon sanctum spirit and shalai voice of plenty is the rare awesome pool there and whisper blood liturgist is the legendary along with a mountain and soldier all right commander legends let's see the lotus let's blow this video up with a crazy pull today or not as the case may be we have trove tracker Molder Beast, distant cousin to the Scully Beast, Goblin Trailblazer, Sailor of Means, Doom Traveller, Anointer of Valor, Scrounging Bandar, Moss Diamond, Sanitarium Skeleton, Stone Fury, Seraph of Dawn, Staunch Throne Guard, Opal Palace, and Uncommon's Fathom Fleet, Swordjack Mask of Memory, Patron of the Valiant, and a Mythic Archon of Coronation. And I can't remember if this is one of the bulky ones, but we're going to sleeve it up anyway. Our Haru Solemn Ritualist, a Romy of the Dead Tide, Foil Strategic Planning, and a Horror. Let's chuck in the Horror token because that is creepy as heck. Okay, Archon of Coronation for you, sir. And moving on to Streets of New Capenna. So we want, first off, we want to open the pack. But we want the Triomes is the main thing here. Um, there are some other hot hits that we could find as well. Falco Sparrow Pact Weaver. For instance, the list slot in these is pretty crazy. So this guy, very casual. Looks like he's standing on a railing, near a railing or something there. And a Plains Raffine's Guidance, still gone bad. Run out of town. Graveyard Shift Forge Boss. Fatal Grudge. Dusk Mangler, Tramway Station, Quasar Augur of Agonies, we'll check in the legendaries like I said today, Rigo Streetwise Mentor is the rare, Foil Waterfront District, and a Magic Minigame, Demon's Jew, that is pretty much a trolling I would say, okay, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, also known for trolling, and again, Trolled from the beginning because I keep looking for the pull tab that isn't there. Okay then, uh, this looks like some fantastic anime scene. We have Invoke Despair, followed by Tranquil Cove, Fang of Shigeki, Imperial Subduer, Uncharted Haven, Fade into Antiquity, Harmonious Emergence, Enormous Energy Blade, Bronze Cudgels, Rito Sentinel, Behold the Unspeakable, and Tribute to Harobi, and because it's a rare, we'll flip it around. On the other side, we've got Echo of Death's Whale, along with a Foil Dragonfly Suit, and no list pull in that one either. Dominaria United, what do you think of the set? It's absolutely fantastic, I reckon. Start of this new Phyrexian story, which actually we've been building to for some time. We have Rivers of the Claw. So he looks like some sort of lizard dude. Via Shino, I'm assuming. We've got a Forest Impulse. Gitu Amplifier. Wooded Ridgeline. Barkweave Crusher. Braid's Frightful Return. Resolute Reinforcements, the Weather Seed Treaty, Queen Eleanor of Ruadak, and Turkenrad Sky Knight, along with Lanawar Loam Speaker for the rare foil, founding the third path. And from the list, we have a Frog Samurai, Jade Avenger. Okay, last pack here, Modern Horizons 2. Let's see the monkey this time round. Or you know what? We would settle for a fetch land. I guess that would be okay. Uh, what do we got here? Shattered Ego. Along with a Swamp. Gouged Zealot. Storm God's Oracle. Silver Bluff Bridge. Mount Velus Manticore. Lightning Spear. Strike it rich! That's this pack, right? Road to Ruin. And a scolding tarn. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, it was correct, Eric. There you go. And Zuran Orb. We'll sleeve that up in a second, actually. Timeless Witness Sketch Variant. Foil Soul of Migration. 
And nothing from the list, but you know what? We don't care because we got the Scalding Tarn for Eric. Awesome pull here. So let's scoop it all up. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. And if you want more Dominaria United goodness, check out the excellent uh, collector box. Link in the corner. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.